All right, now let's jump into kind of our last comment for uh, today. I swear I am not picking negative sounding comments. A lot of people just right now on the work to game are leaving very frustrated comments about Final Fantasy 14. You might not share uh, in this view, but just as a heads up, if you guys got some positive thoughts to share, share those. Leave, leave all comments are good. And I'm just going to keep drawing comments into our massive collection as we work our way through uh, them and, uh, and kind of take these on a uh, piece at a time. Kiss. My Kamachi says, uh, distinct jobs within roles, less hum uh, hum homoge homogeny, <laughs> um, fixed healers that do not spam one button, fixed combat that includes crowd control and a variety to defeat enemies besides burning them down to zero HP, more encounter designs that are more than just to evade and evade movement exercises. EQ was one, uh, was way back in 1999, did combat better. Uh, that is not good so some players are frustrated and i think this is where this is like this is my kind of viewpoint on this is that this is just an underlying frustration that ends up being like once all the other stuff is like all right i'm gonna hyper focus in on this core issue because i do not see them changing seven uh the battle system in 7.0 into such a way i think what they have telegraphed within Shadowbringers and an endwalker is going to go against what Kiss My Kamachi uh, is wanting for the battle system in 7.0. So Chris, 7.0, like, what what are your thoughts here? Because we've talked about the casualization of tanks uh, that happened and, and our thoughts there, but this is also focusing in on healers. I think as they've added, like, the two hardest ultimates ever to game, as they've spent an entire expansion heavily leaning into PvP, uh, and as they've realized more and more that people are leveling more than one job, they're doing relics on more than one job. Um, they are trying to make sure that people can have a cohesive experience across all their jobs and whatever their favorite job fantasy is, that they can take that job into as many types of content as possible. Uh, the community kind of freaked out when Machinist and you know some tanks got left out of Ultimate Frog for a couple weeks. And the downside of having a classes that are distinct and classes that are special and unique is that ultimately when content gets really hard and tightly tuned, there will be one that is mathematically better, that is more optimal based on the movement of the fight. It might be better just on a dummy, but it also might just be better because of the way the fight has you move or because of the way the damage windows are timed. And so they've tried to tie them all to these two minute windows and that's created a whole new set of problems um, and so as you try to make these jobs feel more unique, they're going to get less balanced. So it's the, the problem is, is from somebody that's not really affected by this, when I try to listen to both sides and understand this, I'm hearing people say that they want more job variety. And then I'm hearing people frustrated that why can't they just balance it? And those seem to be at odds because every time the game is perfectly balanced, it's because all the jobs do the same freaking thing. And every time something starts to become unique in some way, people go, and this one's the best. And then everybody else gets left out in the cold. So I don't, I don't really know um, how they solve this. I think odds are what they'll do is they'll pick a role to focus heavily on changing the way it, it moves. It feels like Fizz Ranged is one that's really struggled across this expansion uh, to feel quite right. So I'd love to see them take on Fizz Ranged uh, as the role to focus on in 7.0. Uh, I know healers are really frustrated. I don't know how they change that without just drastically changing the whole system. And then they pick one or two jobs to heavily screw with. Uh, and then they add two new jobs and that's what we get on launch. And then we see continued updates across the expansion. Like Paladin's gotten a pretty big update across the course of this expansion. That's what I guess. Um, you can, you know, hopefully they add some elements that are unique. But at the end of the day, you have to choose. Do you want the game to be perfectly balanced where everybody can do all the same things and is therefore identical? Or do you want to have everybody be their own unique little snowflake? Um, I don't know. And, and then there's there's rankings to that. Like as soon as it's uniqueness, then naturally we're going to say, well, what's, what's best about this? I think if they can take the uniqueness and design content for that, 
then you have those different things like this job just performs better in deep dungeon and, and to a degree we final Fantasy 14 already kind of has that but Faye says i'm gonna kind of echo this a little bit it says imo the battle system and the homogeneity i can't speak today is a weakness of final Fantasy 14 and a strength of 11 one of the reasons i'd like to see the next mmo be 11 ask and 11 had the sub job system and yes there were the meta there were people like this is the optimal way to play but there's content and other things you could do and so the sub jobs themselves ended up acting as that unique flavor because a red mage was a red mage but a red mage sub white was a healer a red mage sub black was able to do uh, like different things and you know things of that nature so you could end up having a different kind of role style but here's the thing i've kind of talked about because people are asking me about this because i personally get frustrated when balance is the be-all end-all when balance is king of the discussion because like you're never going to achieve it and so whenever it's held up as this glorious thing like uh you know eve demon saying you can have balance or you can have uniqueness but you can't have both like that's absolutely true so in this case though when you start to talk about balance it's not necessarily that one thing becomes you know you know oh this is clearly a better option or this for this fight is a clearly better option bring the class not the player kind of mindset as opposed to the bring the player not the class mindset uh those are two different design philosophies but what you need is a team that's able to respond within a like within a reasonable amount of time to correct any hyper uh, utilization where it's like the only like we're not even doing the fight the way it was designed we're all coming as black mages and we're going to just burn this down because that's how this is now done that is the established you know fight and if that ever happened to be able to address the reasons why and i think at its core it ties back to what yoshi peace talked about he wishes he had the team in the budget that he of world of warcraft he wishes he had like the the volume of people could work on this and what we're at like what i just said it requires like active resources lots of work lots of you know like it it isn't just a oh okay we're just gonna change this by one percent and all things are fixed it's like sometimes a change can have sweeping <laughs> consequences unforeseen and the only time final fantasy 14 has done what like i would want them to do they messed it up royally and it was only just in pvp and chris and i talked about what is this a patch like okay did that need to happen and it hasn't happened since because i think essentially they kind of looked at it and said okay we were too hesitant and i think a part of that also is the fact that the game's on console console has to get certified there's so many things in the supply chain and like that go on that it's like to make a change to do all these things to make sure it's properly tested to see how it works overall within a wide range of content it's a it's a compounding problem and so i think ultimately that's why you see final fantasy 14 maintain with that and i think you're going to continue to see more homogenization as the game develops because there i don't think is another choice unless that they're able to really massively ramp up the size of their team or do something like they did in pvp one of the neat things that the jobs feel hyper unique in pvp in 14 because they really spent time and redid that that system and overall i think that was a real positive change um at, at its core but yeah <laughs> that's i'm with you like i i wish we had a sub job system i wish that that was something you could do in 14 but that would take i think a, a map that, that would be something revolutionary that'd be a huge risk in my opinion for them to go and make a change like that because i you know there's no guarantee that it would be like well loved it would be well loved by some but we don't guarantee that'd be well loved by all it doesn't create it just creates a new problem like let's say you created the world's most fun sub job system for open world content mm -hmm. then to maintain balance you don't allow it into savage then somebody's mad about that like look at blue mage the moment you create something that's fun to do people want to take it everywhere so if you if you create a, a sub specialization that's really fun in crystalline conflict and then it isn't allowed in savage or it's mm. not good in savage that's going to be really frustrating that the way you play can't be cohesively we have been presented a game that promises that your favorite flavor of the game can go across as many content types as possible so the moment you add a way to play and then you don't support that way across subsystems like bosja zadnor criterion variant that are kind of you know deep dungeon that get a little more isolated in how they function or across the more mainstream systems, Trials, Extreme, Savages, uh, and Raids, or across the things that tend to not really matter as much, Hunts, Tribes, Open World. Like, the moment you limit it from any of those, 
that doesn't feel good. Uh, and we don't have a, we don't have any history of saying, well, we're going to do that anyway. So, I mean, I there is Final Fantasy 11. What is that history? But 14 does but not. 14 does yeah. not. And 14 tried it one time with Blue Mage and it has been a huge pain point. So I, I don't think we'd ever see them move to a drastic subsystem. I think if anything, you'd see limited type moments where like Boz just Adnor had an armor set associated with it. And that makes it unique. You have Aether pools within your deep dungeons and that makes them unique. You have a limited set of actions within PVP as a whole. And that makes mm -hmm. it unique. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't bleed system to system to system. Yeah. That's all right for me. Like one of the things when they announced Blue Mage, and we've talked about this, um, yeah, I think a couple times in the past, but for anybody who's never kind of heard this expression for me, it's like, I really wish 14 had a limited job version of every job, like the limited system versus the curated system. And so that like, you could say, hey, I'm gonna play in this mode. And and it just changes some of the rule sets that you could then go and experiment. Like with like, imagine going and having to go unlock your summons for summoner in the limited version of that. And so then you kind of in a way toggle it on and off that if you wanted to decide to compete in that and to have these and play the different contents, with that same kind of rule set so that you could literally kind of in a way have the best of both worlds you turn it on this is your new version of the job but what i'm advocating here is ridiculous in terms of like pure content and work and, and volume that it would just i you know it's not necessarily what i would call a practical use of development resources because we don't still yet know what limited means because limited means blue and until we get another limited job will we be able to sit here and say like hey wouldn't it be cool if these you know you have a curated version of blue mage and whatever else comes next and then you let them into that content and yet you keep the you know the the carnival you keep all these things that they can do that are specialized to them for people who want that different kind of challenge that different kind of experience and that's just, just going to be the way it is um guys this friday uh is the live letter uh for patch 6.4 i'll be covering it over here just like we're doing right now uh and so we were able to highlight y'all's comments both on twitch and on uh, YouTube. And then tomorrow we've got a live show. Uh, New World's uh, season one was scheduled to go live, but they have delayed that this weekend. So I let Chris know, but we'll still probably talk about New World tomorrow. But as if you guys have been hanging out for the live shows, note that we end up covering quite a few different subjects and topics. And then after the fact, if you guys are still watching this, I usually try to go back through and add the chapter markers and do all those things. And then we talked about briefly before my audio had issues at the start of this show some new podcast changes so right now we're not uploading this as a mp3 yet but as soon as uh, youtube gives me the ability to rss this just note that you can you'll be able to also enjoy this in audio form or maybe even video form uh in that case just note that those are some changes that are on the horizon uh in this case so uh guys thank you all so very much for hanging out chris do you got any final thoughts before i wrap back up and start going finishing up the sprint for work no, just an announcement for 14 fans. Um, nothing related to this, just an announcement. Uh, free login campaign going on right now. Anybody that's on a starter edition, if you have friends that have been gone for a while, uh, free upgrade to st add Stormblood to their starter edition. That's for the people that are like past the free trial. They have a sub, but they haven't really been buying anything mm -hmm. past the starter edition. Um, so that'll get that tossed in. Uh, the Easter event's going on right now. Live letter this Friday. Uh, FanFest is right around the corner so expect lots of news to start building up as we see more interviews there was a q a this weekend at pax um that was mostly fluff and fun fun to be part of the community the big news there was that uh they are looking to increase the number of displayable items in housing uh sometime during the 7.x patch cycle they hope uh so very very big the rest of it is all just really fun stuff like what's your favorite expansion uh pick correctly yoshi p uh so <laughs> you know really really fun neat stuff in there but nothing kind of groundbreaking per se and, so yeah that's about it <laughs>